got something new. This is the Mercola MC1385. This is the deluxe uh, steamer system. I do a lot of detailing of my car, my wife's car, that kind of thing. And I'm considering and thinking about getting into uh, detailing full time as a business. And one of the items that I'm lacking was a steamer. And so I decided to go ahead and order one off of Amazon. And so we're going to open this thing up, take a look at it. I've got a carpet steamer. Um, I've got a clothes steamer. But this is a little bit different. Um, I've watched some YouTube videos on it and seen how great that it works for cleaning carpets, that kind of thing. So that's why I thought I would go ahead and invest into it. So let's, uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see all this. So here we have the owner's manual. Here's some kind of a net, some sort for something. I have no idea what that is. I'm sure I'm going to find out. We have a handle. So this one sets upright, and that's why this one has the handle with it. Some extensions. Another extension. Bunch of little adapters. Nozzles, I guess you would say. So there's a couple that have a uh, metal bristle, and then it looks like two of them that have nylon bristles, and then there's a a tip, an angled tip. Let's see what else we got in here. It's some kind of a plate. I have no idea. Let's see. Here's a triangle shaped head. Looks like that clicks onto that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Somehow. Yeah, it looks like it clicks in there like that. Hmm. Okay. Here we have another nozzle tip. Has a small brass point on the end there. This is one of the large heads. I think this is kind of designed for almost like a using as a mop for doing floors, that kind of thing. Here it has some plastic hooks that's here. So this you would use, I think, as a mop, a mop head. And here's where the steam is. Swivel head. This looks like a storage bag to put all your accessories into. Let's see. Here's another adapter, which looks like it would go on this. Yeah. So this would snap on there. So I guess you would use this with carpet and then this you would use bare floor along with these pads. So this would just kind of, oh yeah, you can feel it grab onto it. It's kind of sit on it like that, push it around. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool.
Let's see what else we have in here. There's a uh, put this trash can. There's another head. So it has a squeegee on this side and then bristles on this side. And it looks like one of these. Looks like maybe this goes with this. No, it doesn't though. It just looks like it. Another cleaning pad. I don't really know what the difference is between these. This one's a shorter pile. This is a little bit thicker. So this is probably more for aggressive scrubbing. That's more for absorption. Almost to the good stuff. There's another adapter. This is like a scraper. So right there's the steam nozzle. So you could use this for scraping, maybe like wallpaper or something like that. Steam it and then use this to scrape it off. Okay. I don't think I need this anymore. Yeah. It has more nozzles. This is crazy. So here's some kind of a cup, a measuring cup. This is uh shows maximum fill line there, 500 milliliter, 16 ounce. We have this little head. Oh, there's, there's two of each. Then this scrubby con, which is here. So it comes with two of each. Nice. I like that. I think someone's calling me. Sorry about that. Okay, let me move this to the floor. way I need it. Okay, so this is the main unit here. And I know you can't see much because I have all this stuff up here. And it comes with a lot of accessories, which is great. Okay, so. Let's um, let get everything set up here. Now we can take a look at all the cool stuff it comes with.
Yeah, but they call this a deluxe kit. They're not, they're not playing around. I mean, this thing comes with all kinds of stuff. Let's see. I'm trying to get everything out so you can see it. Okay, I think that's about good enough. So let me grab the camera and give you kind of a close up here. So this is the unit. So I'll show you that in just a second. This is a handle that mounts on it. Um, this is a brush adapter, which you could use in conjunction with this. Okay, so this would snap onto that. This looks like a, a scraper, so this is another adapter. This is just some kind of a straight, straight nozzle. You can see the tip right there. Still not for sure what this, this is. Then it comes with two extensions. These things have got some weight. They're made out of plastic, but they're really heavy. So these are two extensions. And of course these just snap onto the, the end of the extensions. It's like a vacuum cleaner would. And then we have two of these. Two of these. There is one like this. There's two of these. Two of those. This large thing. This. I don't, uh, I don't know, squeegee. I mean, it makes me think glass. So maybe this is for cleaning glass. I don't know. Another adapter. This, you know, could snap on the bottom of this. This is a storage bag to put everything in. Then it comes with two pads. So let's take a quick look at the unit. So it operates upright. Here's the cord. I'm not for sure how long that is. Then you have the hose, which is here. On and off switch. This is your pressure gauge. And then this is where you fill it with water. And this one is the largest capacity. I think this one holds 128 ounces. It's, it's larger than the, uh, it's got a larger tank than the, uh, what is it, 1375? Yeah, because this one's the 1385. So I'm going to set you back down so you're not uh, getting seasick here. Put the camera back up. I think we're close. So yeah, it's a, this is a big kit and it's about $200 is what this one runs. And considering everything you get, um, and McCullough is a very well-known brand. Um, for, they're really known for their quality. So, and I've seen that there's quite a few automotive detailers that's actually using this, which was one of the reasons I, I decided to, to go ahead and go with this one. So, Let's see, let's put the handle on. So there's just a couple of little push pins that's here on the back. And these, there's a place in the back where this slides into. Let me spin it around, I'll show you. And try not to knock everything off on the floor in the process. So yeah, so here's the back. This just goes in like this. Mm. 
Now it's locked in. That's for the cord. It's a fairly long cord. Um, I won't say it's maybe <sighs> probably 10, 12 foot maybe. There's little hooks right here. I don't know what those are all about. Oh, that's that net. I wonder if that's where this net goes. I bet that's where that net goes. Somehow it hooks into that. Let's take a look and see. Accessory net. So let's see here. Integrated handle. B. Push down until the buttons snap into place. Okay, that's for the handle. It's not telling me what to do with this net. And there's no pictures of the net. It just tells me that it's included. See, it shows it here. 16 accessory net. So I have no idea what that's all about. So we're going to see if we can figure it out. So we'll hook that there, hook that there, hook that there. We are going to try hooking this over here like that. Okay. Well, what do you do with it though? So I've got this net, but everything will fall right through it. So what's, what's, what's the purpose? What's the point? Don't know. All right, so let's wrap this up. And with a device like this, you can use this just about anywhere. You can use it in your house, you know, your car, uh, bathroom, anywhere you got carpets. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, I wish it had a little hook on that. That part I don't like, but I'll go over it. I'll put it out the bottom like that. So you have all these accessories. So let's take a look. So these are your extensions. Each one is what, a couple foot? So that'll give you, you know, some nice reach. And then feels good. The quality feels really, really good. And then you have all these different adapters that goes on it. OK, 
Okay, let's take a look at the hose. So this is the hose that goes with it. This thing's pretty long. What is this, 10 foot? So here's a, a look at the head. So you have the typical head attachment. There. That's what the tip looks like. Then this is the volume, the amount of uh, steam So as you're using it, you can dial it up and dial it down, which is nice. On the uh, 1375, it has this control actually on the machine. So, you know, if you're if you're working, you know, way over here, you would have to run back to the machine, turn your steam up, turn it down to where this you can just do it, you know, by your thumb wherever you're working at. You have your trigger which is here. I'm assuming this is a lock. Yeah. Yeah, trigger lock. Let's see how that works. So it locks it on the on position. Uh, looks like it will lock it in the off position as well. So the lock works both ways. So you have these little heads here, all of these smaller ones. Okay. So all of those work with this. So you have to use this, right? Put that on. And then you can use all of these little scrubby adapters. This is I figure out how they go on there. Okay. So yeah, they're a little bit tight. You just gotta get, get them broke in and used a little bit. So all of them have like a hex shape. You can see how this is a hex shape as well. I was just push onto the end. Okay. So, If anybody has any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Um, there's nothing else I can really think of at this point. It looks like this. Yeah. This locks into that. I don't really see a place for the, for the hose, unless actually where I put the cord is where the hose actually wraps around that, which I think is possible. So I think this hose actually goes around this area. And, and then maybe this is where you push the extension cord, or not the extension cord, but the cord maybe just pushes in there. And then the hose wraps around this whole thing is maybe how it works. But anyway, this is it. This is the uh, Mikola MC1385 steamer. This is the deluxe version. It comes with tons of different accessories and parts and things like that. So, yeah, I'm anxious to uh, try it out and see how it works. Um, I, th I think it'll be a pretty cool unit, uh, something nice to have. And, you know, if I do decide to uh go into detail on full time i'm sure it's going to come in really handy so anyway thanks for checking out the video and uh take care everyone all right bye